Well, g'day, g'day. It's uh, it's long weekend, Good Friday. Cheers to you. But um, while we're on house arrests, uh, it's been making me think of a few things I could uh, try or do or, you know, whatever. And um, one of the things that's been on my um, list to try for a long time is actually uh, making some jerky. So um, I thought this weekend would be a perfect opportunity to get stuck into having a crack at doing that. And um, yeah, thought I'd record it and throw it up there for anyone else who's wondering how. It's my first time making it, I don't really have a clue. I'm going to, um, I bought a couple of pieces of rump steak and um, I'm just going to spice it with what I have, make a little marinade and let it sit for, um, it's Friday tonight, so uh, I'll let it sit until Sunday and I'll end up throwing it in my um, smoker on Sunday and um, basically, yeah, having a crack and seeing how it comes out. But anyway, so we'll get stuck into it. So yeah, as I said, first thing I'm gonna do is um, cut up my steak. So I went to the butcher uh, yesterday and basically just picked up some rump steaks. Now I'm not sure if that's the best um, best uh, cut of meat to use, but um, it was a pretty good price, so I just grabbed it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, prep that. And by prepping it, uh, I'm just gonna cut as much of the uh, fat out as I can, and, um, and then cut it into thin strips about, probably about six mil uh, thick, and um, yeah, and then mix up some marinade and uh, get it going. Cut this fat off. As I said, I've never done this before. I have watched a couple of little videos and um, the most simplest one I've uh, managed to watch was some uh, redneck fella in America in the southern states and um, basically put it down pretty easy. Just cut fat off, cut it in strips, marinate it with whatever you want, whatever herbs and spices or whatever. And then um, just throw it in your smoker and it's probably gonna take between four and seven hours. So um, ideally, apparently you wanna use a real nice lean cut of meat. So I'm not quite sure. Um, they all talk about this round cut, which um, is obviously at the back of the back of the beast somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure, as I said, first time ever. So we're just gonna see how it goes and kind of wing it. But anyway, just cutting some of that fat out. And um, and we'll get it uh, get into some nice strips. When you're out hiking or camping, I always take jerky with me. I always buy the store-bought stuff. Um, a lot of times, uh, it's just the crap you buy in the supermarkets, which um, is pretty heavily processed. But uh, if you're lucky enough to come across someone who does a good job, um, I haven't really found anyone in Mackay just yet. There's a couple of butchers who don't do too bad of a job, especially with biltong, but um, it's quite expensive, so. Um, if I can make a good a good one here first go, I'm pretty sure um, it'll become a uh, regular thing. Anyway, anyway, that one's looking pretty good. You want a nice sharp knife to do this too. These knives are pretty sharp. I just actually got to watch cut my fingers. But um, anyway, that one's pretty good. Yeah, really good, really good little bit of tucker to have. It's um, high in protein, so that's a pretty good snack, low fat snack, and. Um, you don't, basically don't need to refrigerate it at all, and um, and yeah, it's pretty good when you're um, out camping on the trails. As I said, hiking, um, just a really good snack, and it can fill you up. And if you make it nice enough, apparently you can make it actually taste like you're um, eating a steak. So we'll see how we go. As I said, it's my first time, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to turn out like that. But no doubt, it'll be quite edible. And uh, yeah, so we'll just keep going ahead and cut all this fat off it. There we go. All right, so that's what we're dealing with. Nice strips. As I said, there's not too much here, but um, if this goes pretty good, then um, I'll do way more next time. But first time at it. So we'll just get some seasoning together and um, make a marinade, and uh, I'll show you what I'm putting in it. 
Alright, so we've got a mixing bowl. I'm going to put on my favourite barbecue sauce, stubs. Some of that. Some red wine. Just some taco seasoning. And uh, it's a chilli sort. Some maple syrup for a bit of sweetness. Salt and pepper and some extra chilli. Alright, so red wine first. Might top that up a bit yet. Some barbecue sauce. Probably put the rest of that in there. And actually help the rest out with some uh, more red wine. Salt and pepper. Still a fair bit. Probably sprinkle some on there as well once it's laid out. A bit of mash there. Some hot chili mix. Don't want to scold your mouth, so put it only a little bit. I've just got like yeah the taco chili mix. I'll put all that in there. And then some Canadian maple syrup, just for a bit of sweetness. That should be enough. Wooden spoon that into a marinade. Alright, so I've got my marinade tray ready to go. Got the marinade ready. Here's the steaks. So just going to drop them in one by one. Make it completely submerged. Mix that around, get them nice and covered, and spread out, make sure they're all in there, all submerged. It's all in there, as you can see, beautiful. Got those strips, they're nice and submerged in the marinade. And that'll uh, be so nice after a couple of days, or nearly two days. You'll be okay. Alright, so as I said, I'll wrap that up. Alright, so we'll pop this into the fridge. And we'll get it back out Sunday. And um, throw it in the smoker for about, yeah, as I said, four to seven hours depending on how long it's actually going to take and what you're looking for is just like a, a nice uh, stiff piece of um, jerky that's going to fold but not snap more it'll just break off so anyway we'll check back in Sunday couple of days later and uh, these steaks have been marinating or these strips should have been marinating and uh, the first thing I'll do is take all the, um, the marinade off them and uh, try to dry them out as much as possible so I got myself a tray here and get some paper towel and we're just simply gonna drop them on There we go. Oh, it's one little bit. 
bit left. Alright. Probably should have been wearing gloves, but I have washed my hands, so we're all good. And simply just gonna pad them, pad them dry. Try to get as much of that marinade off as I can. And then what I'll do is I'll put them on the um, on the trays and um, whack them in the smoker. So I'll just go get the trays. Just place them on the tray like that. Move that out of the way. Just place them on the tray. Try to get as much as that off. It's all soaked through the meat, so it should be, uh, should be quite tasty. Give them a little bit of a gap. It should shrink, I'd imagine, a fair bit. So um, a lot of guys have uh, watched about how to make jerky. They said you can kind of touch it because it shrinks anyway. So um, but just don't have it sitting on top of each other when you put it in your oven or in your smoker. So we're going to use a smoker today. I've got some uh, hickory chips in there. It's warming up. And um, I'll probably run it pretty low. Um, probably... I don't know, 100 degrees, 150 degrees, something like that, and um, Celsius, and I'll um, just keep checking it, and um, what we're apparently aiming for is for the meat to actually um, stay quite stiff, but if you bend it, it shouldn't snap, it should just like break nicely, so um, anyway, first time, see how we go, Let's, um, we'll just keep padding this down get something marinade off. The only other thing I might do before I put it in there is I might just sprinkle some uh, salt and pepper back over it and um, just yeah because I'll probably wipe most of that dry stuff off and um, yeah just add to the flavour. Anyway I'll keep padding this down and uh, get on some trays and uh, we should be good to go. Have a look at it. That's what you want. So that'll take about probably four to six hours I reckon but uh, we'll just keep having a look at it uh, I've got the hickory chips in there so it should give it a real beautiful flavor it's probably my favorite smoking wood to use and um, yeah we'll check it in an hour or so and I'll make sure the temperature's staying stable it's nearly at 150 degrees now and uh, well that's Fahrenheit actually so it's only at 50 degrees Celsius at the moment so it might just crank up a bit and um, yeah it should start smoking a fair bit and uh, yeah, start getting into that uh, jerky, so that should be good. So I'll just check back in over the course of the day and uh, make sure it's going all good until that point where we can just bend it and it will tear rather than um, snap and it will stay straight when you pull it out. So that's their first time, so hopefully it goes well. Alright, it's been about three hours, I think. I didn't actually take a proper note of the time I put it on, but um, about three hours, it's still a bit uh, still a bit floppy. You want that to go pretty solid and just sort of stay there, but um, just break off, so another couple of hours, I reckon. Alright, they're looking done. It's looking pretty good. So just take them out and put them on a tray and uh, let them cool down. Right, eh? so it's all done, it's dried down. It's got um, pretty good, pretty good, um, I guess, uh, texture and consistency through it, except for, I would have to say, 
Um, probably just need to make my bits a bit more uh, uniform in thickness. Um, some of the thinner bits probably have gone too far and they're a bit dry. But, um, but anyway, give it a taste. It's not bad. Heaps of smoky flavour and that slight sweetness, I think, from the um, maple syrup. But um, probably a tad bland, to be honest. Like, probably needs a bit more something in it. So, um, but anyway, first time. And um, I reckon it's not a bad effort. So, probably just two things. Like you can see like a bit like this, it's um, yeah well still that's still broken okay I guess, but yeah probably just a bit too far gone. But um, yeah so the next batch I'll have a crack at, I'll make sure I get, um, I'll even get a different cut of meat and um, just try to get them slabbed up like all nice and even and, um, and I'll do a different sort of a base marinade so. Um, so yeah, but actually it's not, not too bad, it's got a nice aftertaste. And um, yeah, but anyway, not bad for first attempt. I'll chow down on that this week and um, I might throw some more in next week and uh, see if I can't make a better batch. I'll just basically follow the same steps though and um, yeah, just change the marinade. So um, yeah, so it was just two days uh, marinating. And um, I was going to do it on Sunday, but it's now Monday, so and it took about six to seven hours in total time. So um, not too bad. And that was only about 100 degrees Celsius in the smoker, and I've got a gas smoker too. So once you once you got it set to that temperature, it pretty much stays there. Um, so plenty of smoke, plenty of wood chips on it, and um, yeah, really beautiful flavour. Smells great, but um, yeah, just probably a little bit bland for my liking. I like things a bit spicy with heaps of flavour. So um, so yeah, it's just like a nice sweet sort of uh, mild smoky flavour, but um, not too bad for a first attempt. I'll have another crack as I said, and I'll let you know how it goes. So uh, anyone wants to have a crack and make a jerky, that's pretty much, you can do it in the oven as well. That's pretty much, um, pretty much all you gotta do. So anyway, until next time.